We have uh, just uh, a brief announcement because, as you know, we this is the inaugural mass for this icon that's behind me and, of course, in front of all of you. Uh, Your Excellency, Father Peña, Father Lewis, newly confirmed in Christ and sponsors and really the whole assembly uh, can be witnesses to, to this uh, icon because it's the latest phase of a sort of an ongoing renovation and beautification here at St. Gabriel. Um, I think that uh, uh, St. Robert Bellarmine wrote extensively about the uh, mystical body of Christ and said that the church is really the body of Christ. And as you know, we've moved the altar up uh, because, you know, the priest uh, is, is the head of, 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 of this mystical body. And the assembly are the arms and the legs, but the Eucharist is really the heart, is what uh, St. Robert Bellarmine would say, and that that is really what feeds us, what nourishes us, what quenches our thirst. So, you know, we're adding to that now with this icon, with the icon of the Annunciation. And uh, really, this is just sort of bringing back the... Uh, 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 what we've, you know, the church, the primitive church had, had always understood and especially clarified after Vatican II. Uh, you know, this, this icon gives a, a, a visual, uh, a direct catechesis that helps the assembly to be uh, a part of the celebration. Uh, this, this painting, this image that's inspired by the Eastern Church helps to unite heaven and earth together. Uh, in fact, uh, the Catechism of the Church, 1192, says, sacred images in our churches and homes are intended to awaken and nourish our faith in the mystery of Christ. Uh, through this icon of Christ and His works of salvation, it is whom we adore. We don't obviously adore the icon, but it helps us. It, 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 it helps us to uh, uh, adore Christ. The painter, which we're very, we're going to meet him in just a second because the Archbishop has agreed to uh, help bless the icon, but we wanted to give the, the, the painter just a couple words, which we'll meet in just a second. He will, does not actually imitate nor repre represent, but essentially removes this veil uh, and breaks down the wall that separates the world this world from the other world. So these icons are like a, like a visible theology. Uh, and as the doctor of the church, St. John of Damascus said, if you have a non-believer uh, uh, who asks you about your faith, take him into the church and place him before the icons. Um, and uh, with that, I just wanted to say that we're indeed fortunate to have David Pardal, a graduate of the University of Sevilla in Spain, uh, who has uh, basically abandoned his career to serve for the new evangelization. And uh, he's a missionary and an itinerant, and he's given his time freely uh, and his talent, obviously, freely. Uh, he's traveled to China and Russia and really all over the world, lastly here at St. Gabriel in San Antonio, uh, to, to, to help with this new aesthetic in the new evangelization. So I would ask your indulgence if David uh, would make his way up and maybe give us a few words uh, of, about this magnificent painting. <laughs> Bueno, padre, menor que padre, yeah. me pongo un poquito aquí. Yeah. <ríe> y así veo a todo el mundo. Voy a hablar español, perdonadme que no sepa hablar inglés. <ríe> y lo único que yo quería decir es que el Papa Juan Pablo II, en su carta a los artistas, nos pedía eh, que pusiéramos nuestro arte al servicio de la nueva evangelización. Y eso es lo que yo intentaba hacer. Yo iba pintando, en mi carrera iba por otro tipo, por otro camino, pero he descubierto esta vocación.
somos un grupo de artistas, que yo soy uno de ellos, que vamos ayudando a la Iglesia en esta nueva evangelización. Unos lo hacen con la palabra, otros lo hacen ofreciendo su, su cuerpo para hacer presentar a la persona de Cristo en el sacerdocio, otro, cada uno en su vocación y, y la mía es el, la pintura. Simplemente decir a todo que yo lo que he intentado plasmar aquí es el misterio. Yo, cuando llegué, pensaba hacer Pentecostés, que poner Pentecostés aquí, pero el padre Peña me decía, es la parroquia de San Gabriel, y por qué no, claro, pintar al arcángel San Gabriel en la, anunci en la anunciación. Este cuadro, este icono, lo que nos ofrece es la puer una puerta, o sea, cuando llegáis aquí muchas veces simplemente es que es que nos abre como un marco, como una puerta a, hacia el cielo, hacia la vida espiritual. No solo la vida, muchas veces venimos aquí cansados, lo que sea, con nuestra vida terrena, de nuestras preocupaciones, de nuestras cosas, y esto nos habla de una cosa que es el poder de Dios y el poder del Espíritu Santo, de cómo el Espíritu Santo puede descender a través de la Palabra, a través de los sacramentos, está presente en el Santísimo, Jesucristo mismo, como Jesucristo en la cruz, lo último que dijo fue, Padre, en tus manos encomiendo mi espíritu, y el Padre, el Espíritu Santo lo derrama a través de muchísimas formas. Dios es un creador, es un artista, lo primero que hizo fue crear, crear, y dice que todo lo hizo bien, entonces eso es lo que yo quería plasmar aquí, el poder del Espíritu Santo, es el momento en el que María dice, he aquí la esclava del Señor, hágase en mí según tu palabra y es también un canto a la virginidad de María por eso llevan las estrellas que simbolizan la virginidad antes, durante y después del parto Toda la icono es un cuadro inspirado en los iconos bizantinos de Rubles y un poco con un lenguaje más moderno estéticamente hablando y nada, yo espero que también habla del anuncio del anuncio del ángel dice los padres de la iglesia que ángel designa la función, no el ser decía dice un, uno de los padres de la iglesia que ángel significa enviado por eso también es un cuadro que nos ayuda a todos a ser enviados después de recibir aquí vosotros que lo habéis confirmado y todo ser, ser también testigos de Dios hacia otras personas del poder del Espíritu Santo por eso yo simplemente quería decir eso y espero que os guste a todos gracias. y que lo disfrutéis muchas gracias muchas gracias Archbishop, on behalf of all of the community here at St. Gabriel, we are delighted that you're here to bless the icon and to uh, administer the sacrament of confirmation. And so on behalf of everyone here, we would like to present you a small gift, a representation of the icon itself. So. God bless you. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Wow. Yeah, that's good. That's beautiful, that's beautiful. Y atrás tiene una inscripción. Uh, What is missing here? Lo que falta aquí es el nombre de la, del artista. No es el origen, tú, no, tú no lo creaste, pero tú lo pintaste. Pero, ¿cómo te vamos a recordar? Yo sé, yo sé. No el icono, pero acá atrás. <risa> That's great. Well, I think we we don't need more explanation regarding the icons, and the icons, they are an ongoing revelation. You can see them once, and twice, and three times, and, and always they unfold more precisely what we heard 
studying Spanish with the artist, the painter. But it's not as, we don't call it like that, really. You know, somebody who works on an icon is not really a painter. It's, 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 it's different and it's very profound. But the icon reflects and unfolds gradually the mystery. And if this is your parish, you have to become experts from what the icon says. Because you are looking at it constantly. So it has to be that mystery kind of embraced and becomes part of you. And you try to imitate it. You try to pass it on. We're going to bless the eyes. Please rise. Lord God, we acknowledge your infinite glory and abundance of your gifts. Before the foundation of the world, you appointed Christ, the beginning and the end of all things. You chose the Blessed Virgin Mary as the mother and companion of your Son, the image and model of your Church, the mother and advocate of us all. She is the new Eve, to whom you restore what the first Eve had lost. She is the daughter of Zion, who echoed in her heart the longings of the patriarchs and the hopes of Israel. She is the poor, the lowly servant who trusted solemnly in her Lord. In the fullness of time, she was delivered of the Son of Justice. The day spring from on high, your Son, Jesus Christ. In her flesh, she was his mother. In her person, his disciple. In her love, his servant. Father, May your children who have provided this icon of the Annunciation of the Blessed Virgin Mary know her protection and trace in their heart the power of her holiness. Bless them with faith and hope, love and humility. Bless them with the strength in hardship and self-respect in poverty. Bless them with patience in adversity and kind-heartedness in time of plenty. May they search for peace, strive for justice, and realize your love as they pursue their journey to life towards your heavenly city, where the Blessed Virgin Mary intercedes as mother and reigns as queen. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.